Yeehaw! In this video, we're going to be rounding up our Procreate files and corralling them on our desktop. In non-cowboy speak, that means we're taking them their Procreate files, putting them in that magical ether out there called AirDrop, and then opening them on our desktop to be used in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. So let's get going there, partner. This is an illustration I created in Procreate for an ad. The first thing you want to do when you want to move the illustration over to your desktop and use it in a program like Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, even in design, is um, you want to select on this gallery tab here. So it's up in the left hand corner. That will open up your gallery. And then once you're in the gallery, you want to go up to select up here. And it will open up a new panel that allows you to share. So click on your artwork here first with the little radio button. It'll give you a little blue check mark. And then when you then when you do that, if you click on share up here next a drop down menu comes down and it gives you several options of where you want to export the file to. Um, you can really choose any one of these. Usually though for Photoshop you would choose a PSD file. For Illustrator you would choose a JPEG file or a PNG. Um, and in fact now you can even do animated GIFs and PNGs um, which is really cool because you could do the PNG actually has can have a transparent background. Um, and I will probably show that in a later episode once I figure exactly out how, how it works and have something to demonstrate. Um, and then finally, when you've selected that, where you want the thing to go, another window pops up. And this will give you options of where to send it. Um, first, you could send it to your MacBook or anything, like through you know AirDrop or whatever, or message it to yourself. You can also choose to send it to a cloud file, like on um, iCloud or uh, Google Drive. Once you've exported the file and airdropped it to your computer or any other place like on iCloud, um, I actually exported it as a PSD file onto my um, desktop. Um, you'll find it in the downloads folder. And in there, you can actually double click on it or move it to a new folder um, where your project is stored. Then if you double click on the image, you'll be able to see all the different layers in Photoshop. And you can turn them on and off. It groups it into all the same layers that you had inside of your Procreate file. It'll even have the layers that you, you turned off in there. It's actually pretty cool to do this. Um, so now you could actually work on it more inside Photoshop. Or the other option is to move it to Adobe Illustrator. The other option you have is if you've exported your file from Procreate to a JPEG file, you can place it into Adobe Illustrator. So here's the JPEG file I created, and it's in a file folder where my project is. So next, I'm going to open Adobe Illustrator, and I've already created a blank page that's the exact size, and I am going to place the artwork into Adobe Illustrator. Find the file in the list, go ahead and place it. It's a little small, though the proportions are the same, so I'm just going to drag out the corners. This is the artwork I created for an ad, and I actually have the text over to the side um, that I've already typed, so I'm just going to drag that over into place. And I am going to Command X, cut it, and then Command F to paste it in front, and I'm going to recenter it in the window um, command zero. And there you go. That's how easy it is to move one thing from an, to another. So at this point, you could call everything done, complete. You've got your image and you've got your text in here. But there's one more step that you can do, and that is actually converting this image into a vector. It allows you to enlarge it to billboard sizes um, without actually losing any of the resolution and no pixels will be showing. And I've gone over this in an earlier tutorial, but I figured it would be kind of good to do it again with um, an image that's this complicated. Um, so let's click on the image and then it gives you, uh, let's make sure we have the selection tools all correct, correctly co selected, I, if I could talk today. Click image trace and it'll start tracing it. It usually puts it into this black and white mode at first, but over in the corner here, you have this option of, um, and let me highlight that. It's a little hard to see sometimes, but over here there's this thing called presets and it always goes to default. 
I think you can change the default, but um, it's good to do that because it quickly processes it. And this black and white one is actually really good for converting over black and white images like logos. Um, so let's uh, let's actually change from the default mode to the um, high fidelity. You can pick, pick a lot of different options here. I've tried a few earlier on this image, but this is a really detailed image. So we're going to pick um, high fidelity photo. And it takes a few minutes to process it. It uses AI. It's collecting all the color information, drawing all the curves automatically for you. Um, and as it goes along, you will see some magic happen. It's actually really, really cool um, for these uh, kind of pixelized, or not pixelized, but uh, pointillism or grainy sort of drawings. This effect works really well for converting it to a vector. Um, the curve fitting is one of the last steps in the process. And there, go, there you go, that is the, uh, the image. And if, if we, the next thing to do, it is vectors now, it doesn't look like it, it still looks like the JPEG, but if you went to Object Expand, um, we'll just go with the default there, you will see when it does that, it converts everything over to little teeny tiny um, vector pieces. And if we do a image preview, you can see all the points. So that's it. It's that easy. So hopefully this helps out with some projects in the future, and I'll show you some more videos later.